there's been a lot of progress being made in understanding how the brain works, but also decoding brain activity and trying to tap into neural activity to understand what someone's thinking about or what they're trying to say. In this particular new study, we not only increase the performance of the device that can translate brain activity into words, but we explored two new areas that were really new to us in terms of synthesizing audible speech from brain activity, but then also controlling a digital animation avatar that corresponded to the movement of our face. Do not be afraid to ask the question. The goal of all of that is to restore a more full-bodied way of communicating, which is really the most natural way for us to communicate. The natural first step was to try to translate that brain activity into audible speech using what we call speech synthesis technology that allows you to generate words as they're spoken so we can hear them as sounds, not just text on a screen. How things going for you? The second new thing that we added in this project was a project to decode those brain activity from the part of the brain that controls speech, which relates to muscles that actually move my face as I'm speaking right now. What we're doing is reading and interpreting the signals from the part of the brain that control the vocal tract. These are the areas like that connect to the muscles in your lips and your jaw and your tongue. And we wanted to decode that into um, a form of an avatar, essentially a digital animation of the participant's face. We think that this is going to improve the usability and naturalness of this way as a way to communicate. I think it's also going to open up to many other ways of interacting with people in the future and intersect with uh, virtual worlds that are being developed now. What do you think of my artificial voice? These kind of injuries that I've seen over and over again in my field, you know, really devastating kind of um, neurological injuries. Um, completely change people's lives and I think we are now in the time with technology and with scientific understanding to really tap into the parts of the brain that are still really functional for a lot of patients and to um, realize um, their full potential by being able to tap into those areas to really restore the quality of life. Um, help them regain um, their ability to communicate with people they love. I think that there's a lot more potential. This is really just the starting point. Thanks for stopping by.